Hello again viewer and welcome once again to Flying Film. Back in the dark room, uh, following yesterday's session with the Nova Deep Tank Slot Processor. It's still chemicalised. Normally, normally lift dev goes off pretty quick. But I just thought I would do a quick experiment today just to see if, uh, just to see how it holds up in such a narrow tank with a, with a very very low surface area uh, on the top of the tank. It also has floating lids on there. If it can keep the oxidation down enough to get maybe another one or two prints out. Uh, so rather than just run away again with some more Ketmira Classic, I thought I'll try some former tool. I've just done a quick test. The dev, the dev is obviously still lively, you can see here on the test. So it's all good there. Um, Jot and cheese, obviously, between these two papers, brand new uh, former torn paper compared to 20 year old hard classic. So we've got lots of deep blacks in the in the foreground detail there in the sand. Still quite like that actually. Uh, again, torn in the sky here. Yeah, it was an empty sky, but we've got some colour torn in there. The only concern is this. We've got a bit of staining on the test. But I wasn't I, I wasn't too fussy when I actually did it, so that could be just uh, dev running down off the clip as I was dumping it in and out of the dev. So we'll jump in and get a full sheet under the enlarger. We're only looking at a 60 second exposure. Uh, and I think it was less than two minutes dev when I did this test. So obviously things are running along quicker than they were the last session. Obviously with the new, with the brand new emulsion paper. So let's do it. Okay, so off we go. That full size print. <coughs> Former Tome multi grid paper. It has a it dries to a semi unlike the dead mat. Can't make it our classic, it dries to a semi semi glossy luster finish. I'm expecting this to come up really quick. We're only 30 seconds into the dev and <coughs> One coming up there in the foreground. This deep tank process is working really well with the fiber base paper. First time, well, second time now that I've actually tried it. Never thought about it before, and we definitely we've got the benefit of running at a higher temperature, which would probably be. A bit difficult to maintain in the trees, I'm not saying you couldn't do it, but it's so much easier in a controlled environment like this. One minute and 25 seconds in there, looking at the stopwatch. One coming up in that sky. <coughs> Remember, this is this is what would have been considered exhausted developer. So two and a half minutes, and I'm going to call it a day on that one. <coughs> Don't in the stop. <coughs> Fix. Get the room light on. We'll have a look. As I've said, lithium is full of surprises. And look at what we've got here. Um, significant increase in contrast compared to the old paper, which is understandable. Um, lovely rich, lovely rich deep black down in that corner there. Some fabulous tones running across uh, towards the Pilgrim's Way. The the tone seems a little bit more. I'm very surprised at this for considering we're using old developer. There's no, it hasn't been re replenished or refreshed with with any new developer. Um, and I'm surprised how 
the tone here seems a little bit more intense. Again, I can only put that down to the increase in temperature. We've had just one minute of exposure under the enlarger. And during that time, going off the, the quick little test print that we did earlier, I held back, I held back this area here um, for about 15 of those 60 seconds. So this area this area has only had about 45 seconds exposure. A full minute on the top there. And yeah, more serendipity. Well, that's a lovely print off that Linda's far negative. Uh, on a four tone piano. Um, the only thing I will say is it's quite similar to the one we did uh, uh, in one of the other sessions with the uh, Kentmere Art Classic. I think I've already mentioned the contrast ratios are different. But all, other than that, all in all, it's uh, it's a very it's a very similar tone print. So what we're going to do, uh, just for a bit of fun and a bit of variety. Uh, we're going to we're going to tone it with some neat selenium toner. Now then, selenium toner. If you haven't heard about it already, listen and listen good. This is dangerous stuff. It's not to be messed with. You need to be very careful. Very careful. So we've got the wet print in the tray, and all I'm going to do is pour the Nick Selenium toner directly over the print. You must, especially when you're using Nick Selenium, you must be in a well vented area. This dark room uh, has positive, professional positive ventilation installed in it, uh, so we're okay. But if you do this yourself, don't do it in a confined space. Get outside and do it outside. So here we go. This is a litre of Kodak lift and see the tones changing there immediately. Look at those tones dancing around. That nearly went back to a, a black and white print. I've never seen that happen before. This is the first time I've torn selenium torn former torn paper and I'm taken aback by that. I've never seen that happen before with any paper. Um, all I'm going to do is give this about one minute then it's back in the wash. And get the selenium torn back on the bottle nice and safe out of harm's way. Okay, let that run off. Careful with the splashes under no circumstances. Get any on your face, on your hands, anywhere on your skin. Above all else, keep them away from your keep the stuff away from your eyes. So right, back into the wash, and here we are in the wash sink with that selenium tone print. If I didn't know better, I would say those tones have changed again. When we when we move that selenium laden print over into the into the wash into some tepid warm water wash, it's kind of taken on a um, it actually almost looks like a platinum print. Those tones are gorgeous. I'm seeing to have a bit of a split tone chocolatey brown over here and it's running into quite nearly a steely grey yeah, in that highlight on the foreground there and yet we've still got that slightly caramel colour up on the top on the skyline just in the sky it's, it's knocked it back quite a bit actually it's bleached it back a tiny little bit but you can see that 
as I say, like a caramel effect in that, in that tone in the sky. That's marvellous. Okay, I'll give that a thorough wash, a good eye wash, and we'll see you next time.